Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will explore Temba Selassie's romantic relationships as they raise some interesting questions about power dynamics in relationships. They say money cannot buy happiness, but it can show by Temba's love, or at least that's what he wants his partners to think. But behind the luxury vacations and designer gifts, there's a darker side to Temba's relationships. His toxic cycle of abuse is hidden behind the facade of his lavish lifestyle, but is unfortunately taking a toll on the women he has been involved with. Temba's first serious relationship was with Nene Muleya in 2015. He had just completed his metric, meanwhile Nene was still in high school. On 17 January 2017, they welcomed a beautiful baby girl which they named Minente. Temba often made it known how happy he was to have fathered baby Mini and went as far as getting a tattoo of his daughter's name. I just bought a gear for my princess with, uh, oh, kinda you guys are going to hate on the price. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, and I'm just hoping she's going to like it when she's grown. Just like all good things eventually come to an end, they unfortunately ended the relationship when Temba moved to Johannesburg for school purposes. He blamed the failure of his relationship on the long distance between them. It is in Johannesburg that he met Ntabi Singh Sidumedi, whom he started a relationship with and would later become his second baby mama. They served couple goals on Twitter and Instagram and everyone envied their relationship. He soon introduced her to a life of luxury as he would often buy her expensive gifts and they would go on vacations together. He even introduced her to what people call a girlfriend allowance. It is important noting that around this time, Temba had neglected his duties and was no longer present in baby Minnie's life. Whether financially or physically, he was just not there. On the 3rd of March 2019, Ntab Singh welcomed a beautiful baby boy. Their relationship was however short-lived because they broke up the very same year the baby was born. While the details surrounding the breakup are not public, it is said that Temba was physically abusive towards her and even cheated on her during the pregnancy. The stress was so much for Tabi Singh that she was simply unable to cope, which led her to drop out of school. After the breakup with Ntabi Singh, he did not only cut off the baby mama, but the baby boy as well. So in overall, Temba Selahle became a deadbeat father to his first baby, Mini, and his baby boy as well. And guess what? Temba being Temba, he moved right on to his next girlfriend. Or should I say victim? I'm not sure when he and Garabo met... But in 2020, they were already dating. By that time, Garabo was still in metric. She was so smitten over Temba and yet again served couple goals on the internet. Same old, same old pattern. He would spoil Garabo with money, dates and clothes. For a while, it looked like Temba had finally found his soulmate in Garabo and was ready to settle. People, however, kept warning her about Temba's toxicity, but she wouldn't hear it. Behind closed doors, the relationship was not what it seemed to be. The couple was fighting a lot over Temba wanting to control Garabo and detect her every move, not forgetting the fact that he is a womanizer. It was in early 2021 that Temba posted pictures of another woman on his Instagram while still in a relationship with Garabo. And that woman happens to be Gunile Twala. Gunile is a makeup artist from Soweto. She and Temba met on Instagram and when they began dating, she was fully aware that Temba was in a relationship with Garabo. Do take note of this as it will be crucial going forward. After Karabo was out of the picture, 
Temba and Gunile's relationship moved to the next level. Gunile began to live with Temba and every week she received expensive gifts. She became increasingly attached to this lavish lifestyle and was determined to keep it that way. Gunile's love for the luxurious items and financial security that came with the relationship grew stronger over time. What, what's inside of here? Okay. Then. Slightly over a year into the relationship, Temba popped the big question. He did so in style by gifting Gunile with a brand new Mercedes Benz. And this sparked what would be the start of a difficult and unstable on and off relationship between the two. The proposal took place on the 3rd of February 2022 and five months later in July of 2022, pictures were taken of Temba entering and exiting a club with a woman who was not his partner. Most people would expect this to be a deal breaker, but it didn't cause the relationship to end. Instead, Temba increased the number of gifts he gave to Gunile and she forgave him and remained in the relationship. The relationship continued despite the infidelity because Gunile valued the gifts and status she received more than anything. The two made an announcement on Instagram that they were expecting. These news were however met with mixed emotions online. 2022 must have been a very long year for Gunile because in November, Temba cheated on pregnant Gunile once again. But this time around, she broke up with him and went back home. <coughs> to no surprise, Temba was unbothered by this. He continued posting his other girlfriend, Oliswa, who has been his side chick for the longest time, but disguised as female beastie. For Gunile, life was not the same without Temba, so she did what she knows how to do best, which is to get back with him. On 9 November, Gunile gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Tandoluitu, and with the arrival of the baby, things seemed to be promising. On Gunile's 27th birthday, which was on the 3rd of February 2023, Temba decided to surprise her with a tattoo of her face. This was not shocking because Gunile had already gotten a tattoo of Temba's name. In April of 2023, Temba posted his new girlfriend while he was still dating his fiancée. Her name is Blue Light. Gunile knew about Blue Light and accepted her. At one point, Temba even introduced the two together, and they both did not mind sharing him. Gunile came back to her senses once people started trolling her online about still staying loyal to Temba, even though he's cheated and brought another woman into their home. They broke up, and Temba continued with his relationship with blue light moving right along after a relatively short period of time temba ended the relationship with blue light allegedly because he discovered something about her profession that he did not approve of he claimed that blue was not just a dancer but was actually making a living by selling while I am in no position to confirm the veracity of these claims, I can for once say that Temba was not lying about this. Temba then made disparaging remarks about Blue's fashion sense and stated that he was embarrassed to be seen with her. He also claimed that he would buy her expensive shoes but she would pair them with inexpensive clothing from small streets. 
He went on to make numerous unkind remarks about her, including that he regretted ever being in a relationship with her. He went so far as to blame his decision on being bewitched by Blue. In addition to these comments, Temba also made other demeaning remarks such as calling her Muloi and Stradmate. Given Temba's history of disrespectful and insulting behavior, these comments were not surprising at all. That's exactly my point. Like, have you seen his teeth, guys? Do you know what? Can I see, can I see your dog again? Do so you have a picture of your dog's teeth? Mm. To cut the long story short, Tunila went back to Temba for the 20th time. The couple continued their, their relationship, but Temba's financial situation had changed. They stopped buying luxury items and started ordering takeouts from fast food places instead of eating out. Apart from finances, the relationship was just not the same anymore. Gunilla ended the relationship, moved back home and started working again to regain her independence. She opened her own makeup studio and got a cover-up tattoo to remove Temba's name. This frustrated Temba and he had an emotional meltdown on Instagram. He accused Tunilia of denying him access to his child, but the conversation showed that Tunilia just wanted to minimize contact by having her cousin drop off the child instead. Temba made several mean-spirited comments about Tunilia as well which I will not repeat, but I will attach some screenshots for you to see. March 2024, Temba posted photos of his new girlfriend on his socials, but he didn't show her face. However, people quickly realized that the woman in the photos was Babalwa, a married woman with two children. Temba denied this at first, but eventually he came to terms with the truth. Baba Alwa had not been honest with her marital status or the fact that she had children he alleges she had given the impression that she was a successful young woman from a wealthy family but her wealth was actually due to her husband and just like that we have reached the end of the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe